Well, good day, Tubes. How's she going? Pretty good here. So I uh, went to use the 2N the other night to go and run through the garden there just for the areas that we didn't plant anything and just to, you know, chew up the, chew up the crap with the disc. And uh, it was running fine, but the hydraulics were acting weird. So, oh, crap, I didn't bring a towel. I think I might have one with me. Um, so I kind of think that fluid might be low because of this, uh, this thing, I don't know if you remember these things, they have a stupid design back here. Let me think now, way down here where this arm attaches on, there's a little cap and it's a long cap, skinny like that. Um, could kind of see here. Let me see if it's better on the other side. But anyways, it's where that hooks on and it bolts it to the inside of the tractor. And I can kind of see it here. So there's a bolt from the inside of this. Holy freaking crap, bud. Why would you want your car to do that? Oh my God. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, so... The bell housing, here it is here. So this mounts inside here, and then there's another bolt on the inside where the, the, the pin is there. So to fix the leak, these things always leak because the, the bolt comes loose inside and there's a gasket there and it just lets the stuff drip out. So to fix that, we have to take this whole bell housing off. I think we had a leaky seal on this side. If you remember way back, we actually had that off and we fixed that in there, but the other side, I can't remember which one now, but the other side was leaking too, and uh, I think it's probably slowly kind of leaked all its fluid out, but we'll check it here and see. Because anyways, the other night when I when I had her out, is this thing going to be loose? I'm going to need a wrench. When I had her out, it was just acting weird, making noises when you got it up high, when you're lifting the three-point hitch, and it's like, and I'm like, oh, that's probably not good. So I kind of think it was maybe running a bit low on fluid, but uh, we'll uh, check her here in a second and see what we're going to need. Uh, this feller probably should dump it right out, but these old things are freaking tough as nails. Let me tell you, you can pretty much put pretty well anything in them and they, uh, They'll make it work, so. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I remember we had, we did a lot of work to this tractor. It's all on the channel, if you want to check it out. Oh, it's very low. It's to the O and low. <laughs> so that's not good. It's not tremendously right off the end of the stick, but it's about in the middle of the O. So, I think I sort of remember that these take pretty much that five gallon bucket, but I think from when they're empty, empty. Oh, it wasn't that tight, but I couldn't do it by hand. So I have a C down here. Hmm, I see some gears down in there. Yes, I do. So this runs the transmission, the hydraulic system, and it lubricates everything on the rear end so it's kind of an important thing but um we'll just probably add some in like i say i should probably dump it all out but uh, to be honest i don't really want to climb under there today and do that so we'll just add some in and then maybe go and try and uh till up the garden we'll see if it's any quieter i should probably run it for you so you can hear but i don't really want to run it too much like that when it's low on fluid but uh, anyways when it was lifting it it was really <laughs> making a lot of funny noises and stuff so i imagine it's probably needing some fluid and it'll probably solve its day so this is a uh, universal tractor fluid we're putting in here. Premium quality. Um, hmm. 
This is still gonna suck trying to pour this in here like this, I think, but. I got the big funnel. Oh, Jesus. Stupid funnel moved on me. Okay, well, what the... Jesus. What a friggin' mess. <sighs> it would have to move on me, wouldn't it? It just couldn't stay where, where I left it. No. It couldn't. It just had to move. <sighs> dripping down everything. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up to that now or not. Oh well. The oil came from the earth and sometimes it has to go back. You know? Sometimes it just has to go back. Oh, there's another juicer. Just juicing her, bud. So if I had a workshop <clears throat> set up, <clears throat> which we don't have yet, I probably would have been uh, probably doing that in there um okay let's give this another check see if it's even come up at all these things do hold like five gallons so right empty mind you but it might be actually there now maybe a little bit too high oh yeah it didn't take that much okay ah, i wouldn't uh suspect it to be growling like that then i'm glad i didn't just kind of keep pouring there she would have been way too high but it might come down a little bit more once we uh, do a runner here. We'll see what happens. We'll get her going here. And uh, put that in there. Cap back on. That would have probably taken most of that five gallon pail if we did uh, happen to uh, dump the whole thing out because there's probably about three three gallons still in there but I guess they give you a lot of warning before it's right out you know so this pail's still fairly heavy it didn't take very much really well some of it on the ground too which yay I'm not too good at but anyways okay so this is pretty oily Give her a little bath. We need a battery. Um, I think we'll take this TSC one here, maybe. We'll just put this back over to here. Positive. Yeah. Hopefully this has got some juice in it. It's been on uh, trickle, so trickle charging. There's a bit of gas in this. I did actually move this last night because, like I say, I was going to go do it last night and, well, that just never happened. So, okay, so we want this to go in like this. Mm -hmm. I hope the batteries don't get any bigger because that just barely fits. Positive. Uh. Actually, do a little trick here, maybe. Just to give that a little bit of moisture there. Okay. So, yes, we do have to fix the rear. Uh, we do have to fix that rear cap 
And like I say, it is kind of a freaking nuisance because you gotta <sighs> take that whole bell, bell off of there to get to that. I had to do one of these on the other two end we had, and it, it was not fun, let me tell you. What's going on here? I don't think I can go any tighter with this. I need to shave a little bit of that lead off there, maybe. Could be this battery, too. Like I said, I put a bit of gas in it last night, so we should be good. Oh, got to turn the gas on, though. The tire's looking a little low, too. This poor thing's had to sit outside. Because, uh, you know, what happens? Probably should pull up and put a bit of, a bit of air in that one. I'll let that gas trickle in the carb there, and then uh, see if she'll start up here. Battery on. Starts good, doesn't it? Okay, I don't think the hydraulics are on right now, so we gotta turn this shaft on here. I think that's on, maybe it was on. making that weird noise. It's like it's too heavy for it, I think. Just bringing this down a little bit. See if it... Yeah, it's like it's too heavy for it. Disc, I guess. All right, let's uh, get her towards the garden way, I guess. Uh, let's take our time because this thing really likes to have its warm up. Let's see if we can get through here, maybe. Oh, that's not going to fit. Not gonna fit. Let's move this one right here.
it's even going to cut through them, to be honest. Probably not enough weight on the disc. Might have to go a bit faster, too, maybe. Sling them around a bit more, so I'll hit her in second gear here.
cost me a pile of money. It's still not really a good tractor. And it also broke my hand, remember? Trying to start it with the crank that one day. Of course, unfilmed, but you know. here in the last couple of years and uh, there's some of it right here there's a big patch of it here for some reason this stuff uh, let me think yeah this stuff is called dog strangling vine there's another of course official name for it and uh, it seems to have taken over everywhere for some weird reason. I don't know why, where it's come from. Yeah, this stuff here. It's got these pods and then, I guess, flowers that'll come out like a normal plant. I picked a big bunch of it out here the other night. You gotta get that stuff out and under control because it'll just take over trees and everything and it just goes nuts. The, uh, yeah, it's not good. Look it up though. Dog strangling vine. Really bad stuff. It seems to just take over everywhere. There's a big blob of it right there too. I could probably get in here with the mower actually and just chop all this down. But you got to keep it under control. It'll take over everything. We'll do a couple more runs up here, I guess. Put in for the potatoes, but 
this here was just not good. Last year was amazing though. Phenomenal year for potatoes. This year just seemed to be crap. up too it drops pretty good oil pressure we're about 20 which is still probably a little low when it's cold but now we're like maybe 10 <laughs> at the most i don't know if you can see that down there should be uh you know staying normally at around 20 but it's not seeming to be doing that so i don't know he's a oil pump work probably too but it runs so smooth. Like it's a really good runner, right? Just waiting for the gas to get sucked out of there. I think this battery is probably hurting a little bit too because we're still drawing like 15 amps there to charge it. <laughs> At least we know it's the, the alternator is working. Oh, she's gonna quit. She's gonna quit. going to quit. Really smooth down an engine though. I got to say, it's got no bangs or nothing, so... There she goes. Turn off the ignition and we're good to go. Alright, we'll pull this guy off of here. Probably not even tight enough to worry about getting it off. Oh well. I guess that uh, needs terminals to kind of scrape down a bit or something. But pull the battery back out. <laughs> Maybe. What a bad spot for a battery. <clears throat> Alright, so the old 2N still working pretty good. I haven't had that 800 going since it broke my hand. And I know I didn't film that, but we were trying to start it with the crank start. And it kicked backwards, and it went wham, and it hit my scaphoid bone, which is like a sort of a kidney-shaped bone there, and it broke that 
last fall, so I haven't done anything with it since. It just ticked me off, and I'm just probably going to get rid of it, <laughs> to be honest. All the work and money we put into that thing, just get rid of it. It's ticked me off, and it's, I don't know, it seems to be cursed. It's either that or just the parts nowadays are just crap. That could be the other problem. Today's parts that we're getting are, you know, junk. And, uh, I don't know, we had to... Oh, I don't know how many times I've had that stupid hood off <laughs> on that thing. We should probably at least go look at it. I haven't looked at it for a wee while. As you can see, the crap's growing in around it. Let's get that open there and have a look inside. Let's make sure everything's good. His uh, little hay, mini hay press and everything's in there too, so probably should uh, at least have a look at them. You can go that way with your friends. Take them with you with your grapevine friends. Okay, we gotta get this open here. And. I say it's been a while. It should be all good. Smells like gas though, and I drained it all out. It's got something going on with the needle and seat still on this thing too. And a whoa, Nelly. And uh, I drained it all out. Because I think it needs, and we've had that carb open many times. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I drained, oh, there's a bit of moisture on it though. I drained it all out. Uh, I still see a little bit in that sediment bowl though. Probably should just get that right off, to be honest. Put this on some weeds. Like these ones. Those ones. Yeah, so this thing, I, I don't know. We put so much into this thing. And I shouldn't have really. I mean, it made some videos, some content for you guys, but we got nice new rims here that still nobody's told me who sent them to me for this thing. But, uh, oh, what is going on back there, bud? Why is it like really wet on the floor? It's really been sweating in here. Wow, it's this thing's really covered in sweat. Look at it all glistening sweat back there. Like he's been out running the track all day. I guess that's just uh, moisture coming off, but there's a big puddle of water down there. I don't particularly like that too much, but just even down here, it's it's pretty wet. So it's been sweating in here. I guess that's the only thing with these containers; they will sweat. You know, you don't have the roof, you know, spray foamed or something insulated, and you know, it'll gather there and drip on whatever you got in here. So. But we did get the hood painted and you know it was looking good and ah, i just 100 percent to be honest probably lost interest in this thing because it's just it seems to be like one thing after another like you get one thing fixed and then something else needs done you get that thing fixed and then this thing broke again that i just fixed like what the heck and it's all wet down there under that tire too so i guess because it was really cold it's been really cold here the last couple of nights like nine degrees celsius which is really cold not icy cold but cold and these things probably got so cold that they uh they got um condensation and stuff making a mess this will be just water from that so yeah it's just all wet now this i don't really like i might take this in the shop here because it's getting some crappy mold on it <sighs> Starts good though, but we got a problem in that front cylinder. Remember, after we did that build, I think that um, oh, and this thing too is still no good. We've had two of these in. They returned one, and I got another one, and it's still and I can't I can't adjust that out of it. It's the way it is. I'm like, wow, you got to be kidding me, right? Because they're I'm swear they're rebuilding the old ones of these and just not doing a nice job of it. But anyways, yeah, we had a problem in that front cylinder. It's definitely. 
something was weird with that sleeve. We got it in, but I don't know how it didn't break because it shouldn't. Have. That thing was really hard to get in if you remember that video. Us bashing on that thing. Holy crap. I'm amazed it didn't break that sleeve, but uh, I guess I didn't uh, size the rings. I should have probably sized those rings in there. The way it was, though, the piston was already in the sleeve, and I figured everything was sized because it should have been, right? So, so that uh, I wasn't too happy with. And this thing's getting crubby already sitting here. This was brand new, too. Oh, my God. So I think we've got uh, rings that were too tight in there and they ended up breaking and that's letting oil pass now. So, but this thing also, after we, uh, pardon me, rebuilt it, put those parts into it there when it starts, it really has got a hard bang, 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 bang until the oil pressure comes up and then it goes away. So I have no idea why it's doing that because everything went together as it should have and everything, all the, uh, crankshaft and all the caps and everything went on they were all good there was no play or weird movement in them so i don't know it's just it kind of really kind of really ticked me off to be honest so i don't know if i really want to do a whole lot more with it at this moment in time anyways it's got lots of oil in her anyways that's good but all the work we did to this thing we did a pile of work to it holy crap ah, but i think it's cursed i honestly think that this thing is cursed but i guess it's good to come have a look at it anyways just uh i don't know it's really once it once it screwed up or i screwed up or whatever i did and it well it was the crank that's hanging up there Dylan actually said, I mean, you think this thing would start with a crank? I'm like, oh yeah. It starts with no choke, this thing. You know, just boom, because it, it's got so much compression now. It just sucks that fuel in and boom, it's ready to go. So, cranked it over once, because I know it had a lot of compression, so I was using two hands. And for some reason, it hit boom, and it just went backwards in like a millisecond. My hand wasn't even out of the way yet, and wham, the, the bar went like right there. So. The, uh, I'm gonna put this outside here, I'm gonna forget it. The, uh, this side came around and then wham, let's, uh, let's see if we can know oh, what's going on here now. Oh, there's where my cord was. Been looking for that. <laughs> you are the dangerous, well, even this thing's warm, sitting there right next to the wall. So, uh, yeah, like I'm gonna start it again with this. I don't think so. I just wanna give you a demonstration. So, so I was here and I cranked it and then it came back around without all that stuff here, of course. Came back around, I can't even do it here now. Anyway, it came back around like this and it wham, nailed me like right there. So you broke your, broke your scaphoid bone and that thing uh, apparently is one of the hardest bones in the body to, to heal up. And I'll tell you why, because there's really no blood flow to that, that little bone there. And it's kind of a, like I say, a kidney shaped. Connects all your, your fingers and your thumb and everything to it. And then it connects all down in here. There's a whole bunch of bones in your hand there, right? So anyways, it's still in there. Like I say, I just don't have any ambition right now to do it with it maybe until we get it into the new shop here but i got another tractor we got to work on we got to fix boris first poor boris still sitting there with a broken rear end but uh, i got to get working on this i almost got enough wood i got another big log here loaded to maybe mow up tonight that's gonna need a bit of cleaning this thing i'll just put it in here for now it's probably a little drier in here than it is out in that container. But anyways, that's it for today. It's back on the wall. It's getting dark in here. Oh, I can't see it. There, I just saw it. We'll uh, catch you all later. Like I said, I got one log here. We'll just take a run up there quick. Just haven't been filming the, uh, the saw on too much because, you know, 
I don't know. I just I just get at it and start doing it right. So, but for the header for the garage door, which is going to be kind of right there on this end, this is going to get all moved here, so you'll be able to come in and drive right in. Or my truck, I'll have to kind of come in on an angle and park on an angle if I want to put it in because it's so long. So we're gonna have a garage door wherever it. I don't know exactly at this end. It'll be six inches, I guess, at least by to here kind of thing so that'll be a one two three four six seven eight nine at least a nine foot door ten would have been nice but i really wish now that i went another six feet to the right here but oh well it's the way she is the way she worked Anyways, let's go look at this log quickly here, and uh, let's just go for today. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, if you guys liked the video, could you like it for me? And leave a comment, please, if you wish to. Apparently the likes help with the algorithm stuff or something. I don't really know much about it, but that's what they say. So it helps with algorithm and helps other people see your content, right? So if you could, I would appreciate so this log's kind of like sort of eggy shaped so i got it up kind of in the middle here so it's kind of eggy shaped like that oh that's really weird the uh center heart's like way at the bottom here that's odd isn't it it's like way down here so it grew all out this side that's interesting i bet you there'll be a pile of tension in this then tension's not good yeah, I'm not quite super snug there yet. Let's just do a little bit of work here before I let you go. We'll try to get her attached here nice. And this one I might have to... Uh... Yeah, right. Like I'm going to be able to move that now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there, a little better. Man, you were flapping. <laughs> We're flapping. <laughs> Gonna flap again. There we go. Sorry for the flapping. Alright. We'll clamp her down. I got another one here. Where did it go? Wait the heck over here. This one I might actually have to uh, potentially shave some off the top here first. Which I gotta get rid of this stuff then because it's got dirt on it. Uh, oh, weeds are growing up here too. Jeez, can't get away from the weeds. Or the mosquitoes this year still again. That's good for it. It's got a bit of dirt on here. Well, that's not the right chipping machine. That's not the right chipping machine. I had a couple of bees nests make uh homes in here this year too under those things in those things probably should really be uh Washing this off, but this will work. Didn't do a very good cut on that either. It's right off the bottom there. Yeah. Might have to recut that. But uh, I'll work on that after. What time is it? 5.05. Yeah. So. We'll have to get a nice flat edge on the top of this 
I think I might, like I say, I really need to get laser set up on this thing. That's really cool because you get the blade set and then you can see the laser line all the way along where it's going to cut. So I think I'll just have to probably take a lop off the top here and then probably try to square that a bit because if you don't, then when you cut your lumber, you got to square them all anyway. So it's kind of nice to get it square to start with. But anyways, there you go. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. And you guys have a good day.